right. When God saw that Moses was going to be a great leader, what God had to do was God allowed Moses to be grew up, to grow up in Pharaoh's house uh -huh. by Pharaoh's daughter. He learned the language of the king. Okay. Why? So that he can go back and defeat the king. Okay. God will never allow you to go into grounds and you don't learn the language of the ground. Amen. Because you will not be able to defeat the enemy if you don't understand the enemy. Amen. Amen. So in other words, what I'm saying is sometimes the enemy will put you in the places that make you say, well, you owe me an apology. No, I didn't owe you owe your apology. I said what I said to make your <laughs> real heart show up. Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all Amen. Quiet. And y'all may y'all would have to understand a lot about me, a lot of things that I do and stuff. I do it to make the real heart show up. Because when the real heart show up, then I really know where the issue lies at. Because sometimes you have undercurrents or you have squares that's in circles that look like circles. Right. Uh, y'all ain't saying nothing right. until the real heart come up. When the real heart come up, then they become a box. All right. All right. And all the time you wonder why you did not go to the next phase or you did not go to the next height in God. It's because you had a box all that time boxing you up. Right. Boxing your ideas, boxing your conscience, right. boxing your awareness, boxing. That's right. Wow. Wow. All right. And I'm not catching that. Gotcha, gotcha. Sir. And what God is simply saying is, I'm trying to get you to a place where you can release yourself from out of the box. Because right. yeah. even the cliche said, never says to come out of the circle. He said, come out of the box. All right, the box. That's go right. ahead, go ahead. That's right. Why? Because a box symbolizes a package and shipping and receiving. I worked at Swagmas, and Ryan can remember when I worked at Swagmas, I was in a place called Shipping and Receiving. And in Shipping and Receiving, that was not a lazy place. You can't work in Shipping and Receiving and be lazy. That's right. Because you're constantly moving, because there's stuff always coming in, right. and stuff always going out. And it never went out in a circle, it always went out in a box. Amen. It always came in a box. God, oh, y'all ain't saying that. So box always bring you to bondage and captivity. Y'all quiet. And what box and those of you who have works at UPS and, uh, and, and uh, FedEx, y'all know how what happens is one thing what God does is is always in transition. He never allowed you to go above the level of the truck. That's right. Because when y'all get ready to take the stuff off the truck, normally when the truck backs up to the dock, the door of the truck always level out with the dock. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you lift a lifter up. Now at Swaggers we have this little chain that we pull up and this middle thing will come up and then the front will flap out and then it lay back down. Right. So you can roll the stuff off the truck. And sometimes we have the panic lifters. When you go and you on that lift, those panic lifters, and then you pull. Now listen, watch this. Now watch this prophetic right here. It's because in the natural sense, with that, with, with all those boxes on that pallet, you can't move it unless you unstack it. That's right. Yeah, That's yeah, right. yeah. That's yeah. Right. And have a train, a chain of command of shifting stuff. That's, That's right. right. That's right. All right. But what somebody did was prepare a pallet. Right. You stick it, it's two thongs that they stick under the pallet right. and they lift, lift it up. It up. That's right. Pallet right. jack. They lift it up with air pressure. Right. Pressure lifts up your pallet. Right. Oh, right. Pressure lifts up right. your pallet. Right. Oh, y'all quiet. Pressure lifts up your pallet so you can lift up the object that's been holding you out so you can pull it easily. Right. All right. Amen. Sometimes those pallets have sometimes up to 100, 200. Uh, boxes on top of them and there's some are light some are heavy uh -huh. and they never put the light things at the bottom that's right the heavy things is at the, at the bottom right. the next to the heaviest to the top the next to the heaviest you know the lightest to the lightest to the right. lightest and then it, they, they wrap it with with that wrap right. and then they put the invoice Inside the rack. Right. Mm -hmm. Y'all right. know I worked on ship after ship, ship you see, imagine. So you put it in there, and what happens is when you put the, the manual fork lifter, which is that pallet jack, you stick it in there, and some of us that had the license to drive the fork lift will go on the truck with the fork lift, stick the two front end, and lift it up, but it was pressure that was on the fork lift that lift up the pallet, and we can be able to back out. Beep, 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 beep. And that beep was assigned to what? Get out of my way because I have a load is coming. Oh, y'all ain't sinning. All you do every time you praising God, you're telling the devil, back up out of my way because I have a load is coming.